All right, guys, it's time to battle. And today's battle is between the Galaxy Buds 2 and the AirPods Pro. To find out which is better, so let's jump in. All right, there are so many true wireless buds out there, but of course the big names in the industry are Apple with its humongous sales for the AirPods Pro, and of course Samsung with their expanding Galaxy Buds line, right? Now, both of them bring some very unique features to the table. Now, let's start off with battery life, right? Uh, the Galaxy Buds 2 come with 7.5 hours uh, per use case if you're not using A and C, and about five with A and C, while the AirPods Pro come in about 5.5 hours uh, with A and C or without. Now, in terms of long-term battery life, you're looking at 24 hours with the case for the uh, AirPods Pro and 20.5 hours for the Galaxy Buds. So Apple takes the cake there for, for battery life, and that's a little bit you know sad because the Galaxy Buds have traditionally done much longer battery life in general, uh, but again, 20.5 uh, 20 to 24 hours is close, but not that close. Now, what about design and fit? Both of them have very unique different designs, right? The Galaxy Buds 2 have gone a little bit more traditional, uh, not, a, not traditional to its original Galaxy Buds, but a more traditional fit. And it's super, super light. It feels really comfortable in your ear and the ear tips also really good. I will mention one caveat though. If you work out a lot and you do a lot of heavy workouts and you sweat within your ear, they will slide out because they uh, are a little bit slippery. So I would suggest uh, some comply foam. Now, when it comes to the AirPods Pro, they've got that traditional stem design that they do have, uh, which works well. I do use mine with comply foam because they help me uh, help them fit better. I would have actually completely dissed them without the comply foam just because for me, it just never used to stay in. So that's my suggestion there. But again, they do work for a lot of people. So I would say in terms of fit and design, they both work out pretty well. Now. Come, with that though comes uh, a couple of functionality. You've got touch controls for each ear, ear pod, which is nice. And when it comes to audio, we're looking at something that is very, very interesting, right? So both, both devices give you some really nice audio. The AirPods Pro give you some really nice solid highs. Uh, the mids are well balanced and the lows can be punchy at times, at least for me. Uh, soundstage is really good. It's well set up uh, with the AirPods Pro. While the Galaxy Buds 2 come with also a very nice soundstage, uh, the highs are good, not as high as the AirPods Pro. Uh, the mids, I think, are well balanced, probably much better than the mids here, and the lows, not so much. Uh, they are almost in the opposite direction. Now, that doesn't mean you cannot get your bass in because the uh, Galaxy Buds 2 do come in, come with an app where you can customize your listening experience uh, to change your different EQs, and you can go within your smartphone uh, to also change, uh, do custom EQs there as well. So it gives you a differentiating uh, feel in terms of using both of them for audio. Now, how well do they sound? I think both of them sound very similar. I think there are certain things you listen to on the AirPods Pro that sound a little bit richer, especially if you're listening to more contemporary uh, tracks. Uh, when I try listening to rock, I preferred rock and metal on the Galaxy Buds 2, while I preferred uh, more hip hop on the uh, AirPods Pro. So again, it's more on preference than anything else. And I think they're equally balanced here in terms of audio experience. Now, of course, since we have audio down, we also have active noise cancellation. Both of them have active noise cancellation, and honestly, they both do a really good job. Uh, I, you know, the AirPods Pro really set a standard for a lot of companies to, to match with the true wireless buds, and it's been really solid since launch. The Galaxy Buds 2 have taken what they've done with the Galaxy Buds Pro and giving you something that also matches uh, that experience. So whether you're on the subway for the Galaxy Buds or even the AirPods Pro, you're walking down the street, you've got great noise cancellation. Now, the AirPods Pro have, of course, um, what's that mode again? 
There you go, transparency mode. So it does have transparency mode and you can also turn it off. Uh, while the Galaxy also has their uh, transparency mode or I guess you could say um, noise isolation or whatever they call it. <laughs> I feel like that part's gonna be in the video. <laughs> So the Galaxy Buds also have that, uh, but they do have it in, in several stages, so you, should, you can customize that experience there. Um, but when it comes to active noise cancellation, you're gonna get a very similar experience altogether from both of them. Now, so what you've heard from me is active noise cancellation is pretty much the same. Um, audio, pretty much the same. Battery life, it's close, Apple takes the lead. What about the microphone? That's really important, right, for everyone. Now, I am not doing a mic test for you guys just because I've been getting, I always get varying results that don't match my experience. But I can tell you from using both of them, especially using phone calls with different friends, jumping on Zoom calls, which is what we do nowadays, both of them do a very good job and I've not had issues from anyone and most people think it sounds really clear. So whether you're using the, uh, the AirPods Pro or the Galaxy Buds 2, you're gonna get a very good microphone experience. So now you're saying, okay, Thunder E, right? Which should I go with? Because they're pretty much similar across the board when it comes to battery, except for battery life. Now, honestly, again, if you're on the Apple ecosystem, the AirPods Pro really fits you quite well because of just the ease of use and jumping from device to device. That's if you're in the ecosystem, you have other Apple devices. If you're not and you just have an iPhone, then yeah, the Galaxy Buds will work well for you too as well and will work for any Android device uh, because you can use your Gear app on your iPhone as well. But honestly though, granted that these two are really good, I would suggest you should pick up this guy. This is the Sennheiser CX Wireless. Now, the reason I put this last here is that, well, you look at the pricing. The AirPods Pro are 250 on Apple's website. If you go to Best Buy or Amazon, you get it for about 189. And the Galaxy Buds 2 are priced at 149. Again, really solid prices for the kind of performance you're getting. But this bad boy here is priced at 129. And honestly, the audio experience blows both of them out of the water. Now, when it comes to active noise cancellation. Yes, it is a little bit below both of these other two, and it doesn't also have wireless charging like the Galaxy Buds 2 or the AirPods uh, Pro, but it does have a really good microphone, and again, the audio experience is truly phenomenal. The highs, the lows, the mids match pretty well, and I think at a price of 129, it is a good compromise deal in between both of these that you can definitely pick up. But either way, guys, honestly, there are options for you to pick up, be it the AirPods Pro, the Galaxy Buds 2, or even the Sennheiser CX Wireless. Let me know what you guys are using for two wireless buds. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. If you want to pick up any of these, I have links for you as well. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.